Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Delicia. Long time no see. I think yesterday I posted a Christmas video. Um, so I'm a little behind. It's been a little crazy couple of months. Um, a lot of things have happened. Um, I don't want to talk about it because I'll start crying. But I have not checked my YouTube in a while and I did see a couple comments when I logged in yesterday um, in regards to how I pieced together my sublimation papers um, to make a bigger a bigger size. So I have the Epson 2803 that I converted to a sublimation printer like most of us do. And the biggest I can print is 8.5 by 11 or 8.5 by 14, I guess. Um, and so I wanted to show you today how I do that. I used two 8.5 by 11s to make a design that was approximately like 10.5 by 11. Um, and I will be putting it on this Bella canvas shirt. It is, I don't know, 52% cotton, 48 polyester, so it'll have that vintage -y look. Um, I just kind of grabbed whatever I had around. Um, and I will be doing a Valentine's Day like vintage -y looking thing. So hopefully it turns out. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I guess if it doesn't turn out bright enough like I want, I can always bleach, bleach it. Because you can bleach after you sublimate, just in case you didn't know that. Um, the fibers that have the sublimation will not bleach. So your design will stay fine. Anyway, so if you want to see how I go ahead and piece together the sublimation papers, um, go ahead and keep watching and let's get to it. So I have already printed out my design. Um, I did it landscape and it is going to be a Valentine's Day shirt for myself. Um, they look, the colors look really pretty. I'm going to be putting it on this Bella canvas, um, 52 cotton 48 polyester. So it'll have that vintage look. It's a pretty color. I don't know the color. Um, if I remember to put it, I'll put it down below, but I thought that these colors would look good on that to like the whole vintage vibe. So as you can see here, um, I did do this in Microsoft Word. I split it. So this is the top and then this is the bottom. And I'm going to show you how I piece it together. So as you can see, I did leave the margins at the bottom and then at the top of this one. So I'm going to leave this one a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and follow the line. I tried to pick the best spot on the design where you would see the crease or the, the thing the least, if that makes sense. So I can line this up. And you'll be able to see it will go perfectly, but I do have about, I don't know, what is that? An inch and a half of overlap over here. It would be about an inch and a half of over overlap, which I don't want. So I'm actually going to cut this one a little bit more. And I'm actually going to cut this one as well because I don't want a ton of overlap behind it because then that'll make more ink that could bleed out, if that makes sense. So I want the least amount of overlap.
but I want a little. And because I haven't done it a while, I'm in a while. I'm kind of doing um, tri trial and error. I'm actually going to cut more off of this one. So here you can see I left just the smallest amount of white now as the border. Still a ton, but like I said, I'm trying to piece it without a ton of ink. Should do it. And I was rushing when I was printing these. <clears throat> There we go. So now I'm lining up, all I have to line up right now is these little stars. Just trying to find, there we go. I'm just fiddling with trying to line it up. Like it's this side is off by like centimeters. So I'm trying to line up this star and this star since those are the only two that seem to be off right now. Okay, so I have my heat tape. And I'm just gonna put a teeny tiny bit right here. So I know that that side is lined up. I was using minky in my office the other day and now the tape has minky all over it. So now I'm gonna work on this star. It's gonna be very, oh, there we go. So I'm just going to hold it in place with a little bit of tape. I don't know if you can see there, right here, the star lined up and the star lined up. So I went ahead and flipped it over and I'm gonna use my heat resistant tape. And put that across my seam. Okay, so after you go ahead and put your tape, I grab my little spatula thingy, cricket thing, and I make sure that it's pressed down. I made a boo-boo and I actually um, made little creases here. You don't wanna do that, but that's all right. Okay, so now you can still see that the stars, the stars are aligned. And there's my crease. So you do always wanna make sure to put the crease on the, I guess the best part of the design. Where you're gonna notice it the least. Because I'm extra, um, before I cut around the design, um, cause I like to cut around the design before I press it. Um, I like to find the center of the paper first because I know that I centered my design when I um, when I printed it. So this is 11 inches. So I know that I'm going to mark it at five and a half. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and line it up. And this will be, this line, it's with a pencil, will be the center of the shirt. Like I'll know to line this up with the center of the shirt because it's the center of the design. So now if I go ahead and, normally I would tear it. You can tear it, you can slicey and dicey. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm not too worried because my shirt is not 100% polyester. So it's not going to leave the super harsh lines as it would if it was polyester. Because if you've done sublimation, you know that if you press onto polyester, it will leave lines. Unless you have a pressing pillow. So here's the design ready to go with my center and with the line. And my printer is only an eight and a half by 14. I think it's 14. Yeah. Um, and this paper that I used was eight and a half by 11. Um, so this is why I have to piece it together. Now, if you have the Epson 15,000 or the fancier ones, you don't need to do this but this is how you can make a bigger design. Um, this design right now is approximately 11 inches tall. And at the widest point, it is almost 11 inches wide, which obviously would not be able to fit on a single sheet of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and find the center of my shirt and I will be back after I press it so I can show you what the end result looks like. So I went ahead and pressed the shirt. Um, I should have torn the outside rather than cut it because it did leave, um, you know, the line on the outside. But it's just for me and I'm wondering if it'll just wash out because it's not 100% polyester. Um, but whatever, my pressure was too high. And... I may end up bleaching it, um, the center, just because I want the design to pop more, but I still love it. Um, and you can see here where this is the file that I had pieced it together right here under the cups and in between like on the stars. And if you look, you cannot see any marks. I'll go ahead and take a close up. You can kind of see, I wonder if it'll come up for you guys. Um, because I did have too much pressure, you can slightly see, focus mister. It wants to focus on my face. You can kind of see a line going across of where the paper was pieced together but that is because I put too much pressure. That is my fault. Um, but if you look at the actual stars, you cannot tell that um, it was two separate pieces of paper, if that makes sense. But I will go ahead and bleach the center because that's what I, I think it needs to pop more. I don't know. This would have been really cute on a white shirt. Like super cute but I love it regardless. Thank you for hanging out with me um, while I showed you how to piece together your sublimation paper so you can get a bigger design. If you have a you know, converted Epson that only does eight and a half by 11 or eight and a half by 14, um, I think it turned out really cute. I am clearly no sublimation expert as I did you know, leave some lines on here. I've actually never left a line before so that's that's something special. Um, but I also haven't sublimated a shirt in a couple months. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I really appreciate you hanging out with me. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I will try to get back to you guys. 
I'm very slow at responding because I get lost in my days. Um, so yes, but I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.